The sweaty gym walls, the bags, the smelly gloves, and um, it was just a surreal moment for me. I'm seeing people get punched in the face and no one's getting in trouble. Like, I was thinking, what is this? And I literally just fell in love with it. My name is Isaac Chamberlain, I'm 27 years old, I'm a future world champion. I come from Brixton, South London. I would say boxing gave me a lifeline. Growing up, there was a lot of gang violence, a lot of knife crime. And my mum brought me to the gym because my cousin, at the time, he, he was heavily involved in gang violence. And as soon as he passed his GCSEs, he got stabbed in the heart. That was a very sad time for the whole family. And my mum brought me into the gym because she saw that I was going down that road. You become a product of your environment. When I started at line 11, I had low self-esteem. I was very shy when I was younger. But then boxing gave me that self-confidence. Boxing allowed me to express myself. The coaches were massive, massive inspiration for me because they kept saying no matter what I did, I was get a bus slip or whatever. They would always say, oh, you can be a champion. You can be world champion. And I never heard those words of encouragement from teachers, from my parents, no one. So I kept coming back so I could hear those words of encouragement again. And that's what really motivated me. And since then, I never looked back. I was one of those guys, as soon as I'm into something, I want to put my everything into it. And that's how you have to be in anything that you want to do. You have to put your all into it. So even if I wanted to be a janitor, I wanted to be the best janitor. Everything is clean. You know, I, I'll finish things in double time. That's the, that was my mentality then, and it's still my mentality now. That I want to be the best at everything that I do. We started as an initiative about uh, trying to raise the awareness of knife crime in, in London. It's a societal issue. Gangs come into that, drugs come into that. It's not something that we get involved in, we're not qualified to do that. We just focus on getting young kids, introducing them to boxing and using that as a conduit, as an alternative to people possibly thinking about going out on the streets and, and picking up a knife. A lot of my friends now are in, are in jail and some of them have passed away. When you're going through it at that time, you don't really think of it as dangerous. It's just what you grew up in. That's why it's so important for these kids to know that they have someone believing in them especially in a, in a place like a boxing gym, because it's, it's hard out there. We target children between seven and 13, give them a free boxing kit that's manufactured to professional standards. The kid puts it on and feels blinged up. They feel very special before they even step into the ring or into the club. And then we offer them two free lessons as well. You have to go through a, a very rigid structure. You have to respect your opponent. You have to respect your trainers. And there are, there are very strict protocols. You grow up in an area like Tottenham and you spend two hours in the gym every night, you're not going to hang out afterwards. You're just not. Like, if anyone has spent two hours in a boxing gym, you, you know that you're going home to sleep. And as simple as that sounds, that's such a good deterrent on keeping people on the straight and narrow. And, and just what you need to do to box, it takes discipline, it takes hard work. And very quickly, you'll realize your, your interpretation of what is a tough person, it will change like this. I, no, I, I'm scared to hold it. <laughs> if boxing can help me when I was young, it can definitely help all the other kids that's part of the Gloves Up Knives Down program. As just an ambassador, I'm just trying to help the community. So because of the talent that God gave me, I definitely want to give back to, so other people can get an opportunity to find out what their gifts are. If I can inspire one child out of many, I'll be more than proud to change their life. If you're in a boxing gym, you're surrounded by people that ultimately want to improve themselves. They want to do things for themselves, they want to be better. If you're in that environment, you're going to do the same. You're, in, you're embraced by a culture and it's very exciting and everyone's supporting one another. Nobody wants to do any harm to anybody at all and that's the beauty of it. It has transformational effects on children time and time again as is proven by all of the events that we do. Because of my story, how I got into boxing, because my cousin got stabbed and I don't want no one to go through the pain that my family felt. You're taking away two lives, the person that took somebody's life and then they're taking their own life by going into jail. So it's... It's a lose-lose situation and they have to understand that. Don't let 
the decisions you make at such a young age impact your whole life. Because that's exactly what happened. This is what Loves at Knife Down is all about, really. That um, you, you can go and be embraced by a, a different kind of family. There's a lot of respect in here and everybody supports one another as well. It's about guiding them, it's about making them happy, it's about inspiring them. So if I can convince one child to at least change their life, change their way of thinking, thinking, oh, do you know what, I want to be like Isaac, look what's happened to him and look what, where he's gone to, then I'm doing my job. You have to make your own opportunities, that's just the mindset that I have. If there's a wall in front of you, you have to break that wall down. And they have to understand that it's going to be very difficult. You have to go through it, you have to push through it, you have to go through the darkest days to get the best days of your life.